Tobacco advertising plays a huge role in the addiction process that encourage young people to begin smoking before they are old enough to understand the impact that smoking has on their life. Each year in the United States, an estimated 443,000 people die from illness related to tobacco products and another 42,000 people from secondhand smoke. For daily smokers, your risk of a stroke or heart attack increases as well as the risk of coronary heart disease, lung disease, lung cancer, as well as many other types of cancers such as bladder cancer and stomach cancer. Smoking can cause infertility in men and women, stillbirth, and sudden infant death syndrome. With over 200 different chemicals like ammonia, arsenic, and nicotine in cigarettes, it's easy to say cigarettes equal pure poison. There are many reasons why quitting smoking is the best idea. MU nursing student Kayla McGrath tells us. There are a million reasons why you should quit smoking. By quitting smoking, you're increasing your length of life as well as quality of life. You're decreasing the risk of certain cancers such as lung cancer, larynx cancer, esophageal cancer. You're decreasing your risk of disease such as heart disease. And you're benefiting the people around you. Secondhand smoke affects them too. Quitting smoking can be a hard and stressful process for anyone in their lives, but with many different ways to quit smoking these days, it's only a matter of time before you find the right one that works best for you. Now that you've learned about the benefits of quitting smoking, what it has to offer, how smoking just doesn't affect you but the people around you, and a little bit about how smoking can affect your body not just short term but long term as well, you can now ask yourself this question. Is the risk of smoking really worth the well-being of your own life as well as the money you spend on such quite a habit? I'm Kyle McGrath reporting from Adani University's Campus Close-Up.